Welcome to Frequency Matters, the RF Microwave Update Series. I'm Pat Hindle, and I'm here with my co-host, Eric Heim. In this episode, we're going to continue our coverage of the August European Microwave Week and Millimeter Wave Technology issue. As a reminder, the cover feature is written by Helen Duncan, and she covers the RF and microwave companies that are in Germany as the event takes place in Berlin in September. But there are also many articles covering millimeter wave technology. Eric, what do we have for the product feature and online spotlight this month? Thanks, Pat. Yeah, we had a good product feature from Noki Wave, announcing the release of their fourth generation of millimeter wave 5G silicon beam former ISIMs. And the article gets into a good discussion about the need for beam formers and where they fit into the 5G architecture, along with some of the performance characteristics of the Enoki Rage solutions. And they've got a couple of things like automatic temperature compensation and a patented zero cal feature that make these Enoki Wave parts pretty unique. Uh, so take a look at that. In the August online spotlight, we've got an article that describes the design of a secure communication system with spectrum scanning feature that's realized with a programmable system on chip embedded system platform. Uh, so that's worth a look to see how to improve secure wireless communication systems in the presence of electromagnetic noise and interference. Yeah, and so for tech briefs, we had the Cassini ATE platform that can meet the needs of millimeter wave measurements. That's from Ruse Instruments. We also had high density microwave interconnects for quantum computers from Cryo Coax, and also a one watt GAN power amplifier mimic that operates an E-band from Nextbeam. And we had a guest join us today, Marcus Hasselblad, CTO at GapWaves, talked with me about their unique waveguide technology and it's being used for advanced automotive radar sensors. Let's take a look at a clip from that now. You mentioned automotive radar. That's a really good fit for this technology. You know, what advantages does GapWaves bring to this market? Yeah, there are a few things uh, that really stands out. Of course, first of all, automotive radar is at 80 gigahertz. So it's a high frequency. And at the front end, you know, between the low noise amplifier or the power amplifier, if you want, you don't want any losses at all. So, of course, you would like to have a waveguide antenna. At the same time, uh, automotive industry is a very cost optimized industry. So you cannot really afford any bulky costly expensive solutions. So this is where our technology now fits really, really well into the radar applications. And just to give some, you know, uh, examples or flavors of it, uh, radars today in automotive industry starts from six to eight channels, like four receivers and four transmitters. But there are also sensors that, you know, cover up to almost a hundred channels. So Thinking about 100 channels and an antenna system, you realize there is some routing that has to be done from the integrated circuit out to the actual position of the antenna. So having a waveguide solution there is a really must. So Gapways has a very unique waveguide technology, and that's a perfect fit for these high-frequency antenna solutions. So uh, turning to the news, big announcement from Maycom. They've entered a definitive agreement to acquire the RF business of WolfSpeed for $125 million dollars. And this will include their fabs, their back-end operations, and more importantly, their intellectual property portfolio that includes more than 1,400 patents. And I was a little bit surprised by the price. It's less than one year's revenue for the company. But it seems like a very positive move for Maycom. It gives them a big uh, major presence in the GAN power amp market. Eric, what did you see in the news? Well, there were a lot of contracts announced, so I wanted to mention some of the more interesting ones that I saw. Puritan was awarded a subcontract by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory for $513.5 million for deep space networks. DARPA awarded BAE Systems Fast Labs Research and Development Organization a $14 million contract for the Massive Cross-Correlation Program. Uh, CASE has won a $200 million follow-on full-rate hardware production and sustainment award from Raytheon for the U.S. Navy's and SPY-6 radar. Uh, Elbit Systems was awarded a $55 million contract to supply a counter UAS solution to the Netherlands. Uh, Sivers Wireless received a $5 million volume production order from a European SATCOM customer, along with a second round of prototype orders from Tier 1 5G infrastructure vendors. 
Uh, the Space Development Agency awarded Lockheed Martin a contract for approximately $816 million to build 36 Tranche 2 transport layer beta satellites. Uh, and Hughes Network Systems announced a five-year IDIQ, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract from the U.S. Space Force for LEO satellite-based services valued at up to $900 million. Uh, so lots of money being pumped into the industry, which is always a good sign. Yeah, it's definitely a good sign with a lot of orders and uh, contracts. So uh, as I mentioned in the uh, last episode, turning to events, our August issue is covering the European Microwave Week, and that will take place September 17th to the 22nd in Berlin. And this event is comprised of three conferences, the European Microwave Conference, European Microwave Integrated Circuits Conference, and the European Radar Conference. There's also the Defense Space and Security Forum, the Automotive Forum, and the 5G to 6G Forum, so three there. The exhibition will feature more than 300 companies this year, so it's kind of one of the largest uh, exhibitions we've had in a long time for this event. The theme this year is Waves Beyond Walls, as the Envision Science can help break down the walls similar to how Journey was reunified. So we hope to see everybody next month in Berlin. And uh, just a reminder, EDI Con Online takes place every Wednesday in October, covering topics in RF, microwave, signal integrity, power integrity, and EMC and EMI. And we've got uh, great keynote talks this year, including Alex Lito, CEO of EPC, Eric Bogatin, technical editor of Signal Integrity Journal, and a professor at the University of Colorado, uh, Chris Pearson, president of 5G Americas, and Asif Anwar, executive director in the global automotive practice at Tech Insights. Uh, registration is open, so go to ediconline.com and sign up today. That wraps up this episode. Our sponsors for this episode are RFMW and Gap Waves. RFMW is a technical distributor of RF and microwave products and now power management products. When you start your next design, consider their multiple product lines. GapWaves is an innovative provider of millimeter wave antenna solutions and the preferred partner to those pioneering next generation wireless technology. Uh, and remember, as a member of the industry, a subscription to Microwave Journal is free, so please visit our site and subscribe today if you aren't already a reader. Thanks for watching and join us next time for another Frequency Matters.